Hi there, my name is Ms. Froze. I'm the president of the BC Literacy Council of the International Literacy Association, principal of David Livingston Elementary School, and a lover of books. So let's read. The book we're gonna to read today is called Saturday, and it's by Olga Mora, and this is a Caldecott Honor winner. So you know when it has a Caldecott medal or a Caldecott Honor, that it's gonna be a really good book. Saturday. And there's mom with her coffee. That's how I like to start my day. This morning, Ava and her mother were all smiles. It was Saturday. Because Ava's mother worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday was the day they cherished. On Saturdays, they zipped to the library for weekly story time. On Saturdays, they lounged in salon chairs and got their new hairdos. On Saturdays, they picnicked in the grass for a peaceful afternoon at the park. And on this Saturday, they would also ride the bus across town for a one night only puppet show. The day would be special. The day would be splendid. The day was Saturday. Ava and her mother could hardly wait. So zoom, off they went to the library. But when they reached the library, story time was canceled. Oh no, Ava cried. It's canceled, way old Ava's mother. They paused, closed their eyes, and phew, let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today is Saturday. So, zoom, off they went. But as they left the salon, whoosh, their hairdos were ruined. Oh, Ava sobbed. Our news, boo hooed Ava's mother. And there the car has gone through a big, huge puddle. Could be Vancouver, couldn't it? They paused, closed their eyes, and phew, let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today is Saturday. So zoom, off they went. But their peaceful afternoon at the park was loud. Oh no, Ava groaned. What did you say? It's too noisy, yelled her mother. They paused, closed their eyes, and whew, let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today will be ruined if we miss that bus. So zoom to the extra special one night only puppet show they went. We made it, Ava exclaimed, as they arrived at the theater. Thank goodness, Ava's mother sighed in relief. Hooray for Saturday, they cheered. Tickets, chirped the lady at the door. Ava's mother reached into her purse. But the tickets weren't there. Oh no, Ava's mother gasped. I left the tickets on the table. As Ava watched, her mother crumpled. I've had it, she sighed. Story time was canceled, our hair was ruined, the park was loud, and now we're missing the puppet show. I'm sorry, Ava. We've looked forward to this all week, and I've messed up everything. I have ruined Saturday. Ava was quiet for a moment. Then she closed her eyes and let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Mommy, Ava reassured her. Today was special. Today was splendid. Saturdays are wonderful because I spend them with you. So slowly, hand in hand, off they went. When they reached their apartment door, Ava turned to her mother. She had an idea. What if we... Ava started. You know we could, her mother began. So they did. 
And there they are with their sock puppets on their hands, having a puppet show. So that might be something you want to do after this book. Get an old sock and decorate it so that you can have your puppet show. Have fun.